Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you. And this time we are talking about monster levels and how you as a player can get an idea for what the level of a creature is. And the answer to that is it's generally going to be an application of recall knowledge, which is a general skill use where if you are looking at a, a creature and you'd like to find out what information your character knows about them, you can call for a recall knowledge check. This costs one action and the GM will roll the check for you in secret. The skill that is being rolled is based on what type of creature it is. And on a success, the GM will give you the single most commonly known piece of information about that creature. And on a critical success, they will give you one lesser known piece of information as well. So the, the idea is you are going to repeat this action. If you, if you need more information, you continue to take recall knowledge again and again. And as long as you're rolling successes, the GM is going to be giving you more and more information about that creature, starting with what is most commonly known to what is least commonly known. And that's going to uh, be entirely up to the GM to make a judgment call of what is most known or what's least known. And there's no guarantee that the relative level of that creature is going to be the first thing you learn and probably wouldn't tell you that this is an eighth level creature. It'd probably be, uh, you, you, from the stories you've heard about this type of creature, you think it might be a little bit out of your league or uh, based on the stories you've heard about this creature and what you've read, uh, you think it's gonna be a hard fight, but it's not outside the realm of possibility. It's unlikely that they, they would literally give you a mechanical number where, uh, where in the narrative, your character wouldn't know that. They would just know, is, have I heard that this thing's really dangerous or not so much? Uh, so that's basically the way it, it, it works. Um, I do have a complete video on identifying monsters that I will include in the description, and it goes into uh, the entire process, uh, what specific skill is being used, what happens on a critical failure, and some house rules. Uh, I've got a lot of positive feedback in that video about some uh, some house rules I share towards the, the end of it to, uh, to potentially make the process a, a little easier on the players and, and maybe help them get that information about uh, what level the creature is sooner rather than waiting to have to do it over and over and over again. As always, please leave in the comments any suggestions you have for future rule reminders. Uh, this topic was one of those ideas suggested by a viewer in the comments. So, uh, so please keep those coming in. I always appreciate having those. And as always, I want to thank everybody who supports me, whether it's through Patreon or subscribing to the channel or clicking the like button or leaving a comment uh, that means a lot to me and really does help small channels like mine grow. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Take care and happy gaming.